Sagittarius and welcome to your pregnancy prediction. This is for the month of May and please have in mind that this will not resonate with all of you. If it does, please watch, please like and subscribe to my channel. If it doesn't, please watch the other signs. Maybe you can have a more accurate prediction by watching those, okay? Let's see here what we have. Nine of Swords, the strength. The Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and I want to have one more card. The Six of Cups, yay! Wow, this is wonderful, okay? Uh, I really, really see that uh, there could be a pregnancy coming up in May for you, yes. Because we have the Six of Cups together with the Knight of Wands, I really feel that this could be your baby coming up because the Knight is, you know, a younger person. But this could also be your energy and telling you that you need to find that inner spark again. You need to be more playful. You need to be more creative, okay, when it comes to pregnancy. But yeah, I really feel with the Six of Cups, this is, you know, you you are having um, memories and nostalgia and you want to have a baby so bad. But I really feel that this could lead, uh, lead to a pregnancy for sure for you this month. We have the Hierophant and the number five. And you know, May is number number five, okay, the fifth <laughs> month. But yeah, the Hierophant is basically talking about that maybe you should, uh, you know, you should um, watch something in order for you to learn more about this this matter, okay. But I do really feel that this could be talking about, you know, that maybe you you and your partner are. Um, maybe you are having something more official, like, you know, maybe you are engaged, living together or married. And the strength card next to this card is basically talking about that there is going to come in something here, you know, a, a baby coming in here, a pregnancy coming in here that will strengthen your, your relationship together with your partner. It doesn't have to be an official uh, official uh, relationship, but it could be. The Four of Pentacles is talking about is saying that you should open up your heart to the universe and trust the your uh, you know trust the, the guidance that you are uh, being being um, being given. Okay, uh, and take it with love. Okay, because they are guiding you. They are you know they are they are showing you that. You know, we are guiding you on the right path, but you need to uh, open up your heart and please let us in. Let us do this for you, okay? Uh, for some of you, this could also talk about that you are not letting in any type of emotions when it comes to you and your partner. This could talk about that you are too close. You are not, you're, you're closing up your, fe your feelings uh, towards your partner, okay? Regards to this matter, maybe you are afraid of telling your partner how it is, how you are feeling, what you want when it comes to a pregnancy, okay? So it could be vice versa here. <clears throat> I feel with the Nine of Swords, you have been, you know, struggling for a while with this. I feel like you are having, you know, you are having fears and worries and maybe bad dreams about a child or maybe you have been dreaming about a child. Okay, but I feel like this is more, you know, your fears. Please let them go completely. I feel like you're blocking your energies by being in this position. Okay, I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is, but I feel like I need to, you know, say that at least to you. But yeah, this is promising. I really feel I want to I want to confirm this because I haven't get I haven't gotten that that answer if it is a yes or a no for 100% so I want to uh, confirm it by asking are the Sagittarians going to uh, end up pregnant by the month of May please the king of wands I feel like this is your energy so this could be you coming up here okay coming in here but once again I didn't get an answer I feel like this is eight of pentacles yeah you are working Maybe, you know, with yourself, uh, maybe you are trying to find uh, something to do with yourself, you know, to strengthen yourself, you're maybe changing some ways. This could be your partner as well, okay? And maybe you're working and manifesting and, you know, working hard together with your partner. Are they going to be praised by the month of May, please? The Page of Wands, yeah. 
I really feel that your manifestations will come true because we have the page of wands and the page of wands is representing a young boy or girl. So yes, I really feel that a manifestation is going to um, to take place in, in May and you will it will lead to your pregnancy. So I got the answer, okay? Um, let me see here for the significant numbers. We have four, six, eight, five, eight, and nine. So we have uh, two number eights will, will um, be strongly connected to you, okay? I will write them down in the description box below. Uh, so you can save them and, you know, uh, look back at them when you want. Uh, let me see here. Okay. What do we have for the Sagittarians when it comes to pregnancy, please? Seven of air. Plans that need revision. More going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. Yeah, I feel like right now it's poor timing for you. Okay. Right or have been a poor timing for you uh, up until the month of May. They could be a pregnancy could be coming up uh, could come up later than May. So it, it don't necessarily have to be in May. But I feel like it could be, you know, 50-50%. But I'm leading to, towards more a yes. Okay. But right now it's a poor timing for you or have been you need to uh review your plans okay maybe you are doing something that is not uh, helping you right now okay so please review your plans how are you planning right now maybe this is a plan planning your future okay maybe you need to change the way you're maybe you have plans and you need to change them because a pregnancy could come up um we have the eight of fire events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happening at once so yeah, this is promising. This is very beautiful, very good, okay? This is positive because we have uh, messages about delays are being over. So yeah, whatever you have been struggling with, now the delays are over. I feel like a pregnancy could come up for you in May. Now the events are moving much faster, okay? And this could be something that you need to review. You know, maybe you need to review your plans that, you know, uh, maybe you can't go on a trip because you will have been pregnant or something like that, you know. Or maybe you shouldn't move right now because, you know. So please review what is, what have you done? What plans have you done? Have you make that could um, prevent you from getting pregnant or preventing you from get, doing that plan? Okay. And we have the strength card, okay? We have the strength card too, twice, okay? So we have one in the tarot and one with the angels and archangel, archangels. And this is Archangel Ariel. And it's saying great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. So yeah, I really feel that you are going to be more strengthened with your relationship, but also yourself, your inner strength, you're going to find your inner strength and you are going to move on. You're going to move past your struggles, okay? And I feel like you have maybe been too, uh, too judgmental towards yourself. Maybe you're judging yourself, like, you know, maybe you're saying to yourself, like, you know, I'm, I'm not good enough or, you know, maybe I have problems becoming pregnant or something like that. Maybe the issue is on me. But I really feel that you shouldn't think this way. Don't judge yourself because the, it is just a matter of timing. Okay. Um, you need to also forgive and have compassion. Okay. Towards this matter. Maybe you have been through something. Maybe a loss in your recent past. And you need to forgive that event and move forward in your life. <clears throat> so yeah guys. This was your pregnancy prediction. Uh, if you want a private uh, pregnancy prediction reading with me. You can visit my Etsy shop. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I wish you baby dust and everything that you want. See you next time, guys. Bye.